Boy, why is it a good mood tonight, folks? Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't know what's going on with why, but she's in a great mood talking about some stuff uh, over there. She's probably been drinking. It's, uh, it, I'm it's on my key. second beer only. Give me time. I'll be uh-huh. here later. <laughs> I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. Only in Second Life can you hear somebody's voice, and that makes you look up. And I got to be honest, it scares me that I heard Scorpio's voice and I looked up. I, I'm <laughs> telling you, that guy—he's got like—he he can really do the one nine hundred thing for a living, and I'm—I'm I'm totally straight. I don't know what the deal is there, but it's a little scary. Uh, I, I, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad this, this we're all here. Um, uh, <clears throat> of course, you gotta say that anytime you see people at this point, because COVID is raging again, whether you have been vaccinated or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I had a couple of friends, uh, that contracted COVID. This weekend, and their three-year-old daughter actually contracted COVID. Ooh. And so here's here's my question to you, boys and girls. I'm wondering if there is actually anything in that vaccine, or if they're just pumping us full of like Kool-Aid or something. Oh. You know, like I'm wondering oh, no. if that's what's going oh, on. No, 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 no. no. I say, Jamie, you got it all wrong. There's three flavors. There's the tracker, the obedience chip, and the one that turns you gay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that one. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? Nine nine out of ten people that are totally vaccinated are the ones catching the Delta. Yeah, see, this is what scares me. So, so here's my question, okay? Here's my question. If... if if, if the vaccine doesn't kill us, the Delta might, and if that doesn't kill us, I'm wondering what's coming next. And I don't, I don't know if uh, if it's like uh, it where you guys are, but where I'm at, we've got the biblical plague of the frogs going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm in Texas, and, and we got these little frogs bouncing around and so I'm like looking in the Bible trying to figure out which uh which part of the Bible this next. comes from. <laughs> from yeah. Yeah. Like like seriously I think uh, I, I think, think frogs maybe... were number two of the plagues from yes, Egypt. They were, they were, they were the two. Yeah. Because first the, the Nile turned red and because it's right. it's made of blood, the frogs jump out and that's number two. And yes, it's that's the flies correct. And the boils and stuff like that. Yeah, that's and correct. Hurricanes and tornadoes and earthquakes and all that. Oh God! And, and I'm not really too worried about. The, I'm not really too worried about what's coming next because, oh, the thinker was there when it originally happened, so he'll he'll get me. Four's <laughs> coming. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. He, he, he he seems he seems to be personally he seems to be invincible. I got to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, I, I'm I'm starting to wonder if he might actually be a clone. <laughs> because I, he, he just it doesn't matter where you go, thinker mm-hmm. is there. Mm-hmm. And so this brings up a very interesting question. He's been around so long. And, and 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 he's met a lot of people and dealt with a lot of people, and so I have one very interesting biblical question for Thinker, and that is, how in the world did Moses handle his hair? That Moses had to have had some hair that was out of control. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, you wander in the desert for 40 years, that's got to be some long hair. <laughs> and, and, and yet, you know, if you read the Bible, they, they talk about all this, they talk about this cleanliness and all this stuff that you got to do to be holy. 
And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, if you're wandering around in the desert, pretty much anybody that's had a bath within the last six months is probably going to be considered pretty clean. So, <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about that, to be honest with you. Uh, but but I, I got to be honest, I'm having these biblical thoughts because the COVID... Is it's really it's getting freaky out there, folks. Like we're almost back to square one. I'm mm -hmm. waiting to get back to the point where I go out in public and I see a biker wearing a mask again. Like that was mm -hmm. the thing that I saw that actually happened. A biker wearing a mask as, as he's riding his bike. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. well, it keeps the bees out of his mouth. Yeah. You know, well, he's, yeah, yeah, you know, geez. if you go on a bike on a really bad time of year, do you know how many insects you swallow? Yeah, so, that's a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. I, always helmet, I always wore a full face helmet. Yeah. Are you talking so, uh, motorcycle or pedal bike? Uh, oh, I could be either one. Yeah, oh, but, but oh, yeah, that's both. They're not going to mandate the mask. It's going to be up to the states, and thank God we don't have oh, so. It's going so, back to it. So here's what here's what I'm wondering, boys and girls. Here's what I'm wondering: if if we have to go back to a mask mandate, if we have to go back to a mask mandate, can I get a mask that says, "I've had COVID, leave me alone"? But that, <laughs> that, 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 oh, why not? Freedom of speech. That that's 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 what I want is. To just have a mask that says I'm all good, trust me. But here's here's the thing. Here's what blows my mind, and and this is actually making me consider moving. Uh, the state of New Mexico is actually working really hard to get everybody vaccinated, and I kid you not, everybody that is vaccinated is eligible. To enter a vaccination lottery for five million dollars. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. right. That's actual thing. Five yeah. million dollars. All you got to do is take a shot. Hmm. Like, I, when you think about it, I'd pay you five million dollars so I don't have to take a shot. <sighs> but, like, like, you don't have it. Like, like seriously, that that's when you know you're getting desperate as as the states and the federal government is when you're like, here, we'll put you in the lottery. Yeah, that's like that's like saying there's something wrong with it, and we're not going to tell you what it is, but we'll give you a lot of money the just for doing it. The reason they can't mandate it is because <laughs> right. the way it was set up under the with Trump, it was set yeah. up so that it could not be controlled by the FDA. So, so here's here's what I'm wondering. Here's what I've been debating the last several weeks. It's like, how much money would somebody have to give me before I would take it again? Like, like I think if I walked into the state of New Mexico and they told me that I could win, I'd be like, yeah, hit me again. I'm all good. <laughs> you hit me. <laughs> hit me. Hit me again. Let's go. Yeah, but what happens when you bust? You know, hit me, that's you know, we're playing 21. <laughs> that's me. that's oh, a good question. That's a good yeah. question. So, so here, here, since you brought it up, since you were talking about Blackjack, can you imagine how crazy Vegas must be? With a whole bunch of mass people, <laughs> I mean, like, like you've got crazy people anyway, and they're in Vegas, and so they think they can get a whole get get by with a whole lot of crap because what what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. It's even right. worse when everybody's wearing a mask. You have no idea who anybody is. Like, if I was going to rob a casino, it would be right now. <laughs> like, seriously, how are you going to know? 
people, with everyone recording their phones, I bet you a lot of people are happy you have an excuse to wear a mask so, you know, the oh. wife doesn't find out. Amen with uh, that. Yeah. One other thing that I, that I've been thinking about, I'm I'm really getting tired of the political correctness. I don't know about you guys. I'm really getting tired of the political correctness. It's everywhere. Everybody's trying to be nice to everybody else. You don't want to say anything insulting. And so I'm letting you guys know right now. That 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 I I am not insulted. I am in a wheelchair, and from now on, I'm going to start calling myself an irregular American. <laughs> that, that, they have drugs for that. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. They have drugs to turn you into that. <laughs> I, I'm, I think I'm an irregular American too. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, not, like, I'm, I'm not offended. I am, I am an irregular American, and I'm proud of it. Darn tootin', yeah. yeah. What's that a group? I am. Yeah, yeah I, I'm all about that. And see, here's, here's, here's my question: If we start this group. I'm starting to wonder in my mind what the logo would look like. Is, is it just like a picture of every version of a crippled or old person that you could find? Like, it's it's every sort of, like, out there American that there is. Oh, like, I a little kid saluting. Yeah! Yeah! So, so oh, that... Hitler. That's my thing. I am an irregular American, and I am proud of it. Yay. I like that. And I like Jeez. that term. I love that. Yeah. Irregular. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think it's great, because anybody who is a little bit of a freak show can be an irregular American. Do you know what? Yeah, yeah. you don't have to keep yeah. adding uh, another prefix to it. Like yeah. Regular. Yeah. yeah. The facts Why? are that the majority of Americans are regular Americans. That's very true, boys and girls. Very true. So, so I think we're we're gonna start something. Now we need is somebody start smart enough to understand how to get a hashtag started on Twitter. Uh, Twitter and we can really. Oh, yeah. no, like, if, like seriously, if I, if. If it works for Black Lives Matter, we could probably really make some money. Hey. Yeah, put a GoFundMe okay, page go up page. for a nonprofit. Yeah. 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 We'll, 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 we'll create yeah, get the church to be regulars. Page. All right. That, that is, you know, that as is, a Canadian, I'm downright jealous of this now. Well, okay, so, <laughs> so let's, let's do this. Right, you're right. a North American. Now I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why. You're not going to vote, Catboy. You're a North American. Yeah, he's still North. Oh, that's true. I can call myself an irregular American yeah. because. Yeah, that's that's true. True. North America. I'm in Canada, North America. Canada, yeah. America North. So that's. And you don't get more regular totally... than a Catboy in a maid outfit. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't really know that that qualifies you to be an American. That just makes. You that kind of makes you a freak, you know, like, uh, <laughs> like, like there's an original American and then there's a freak and I think you might be a freak. Uh, I'm proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 but, but here's, here's, uh, here's. I'm an irregular freak out American. Here, here, here's what I'm wondering, boys and girls, okay? If we're starting this new group of irregular Americans, I I, w I would vote that the irregular Americans, all you have to do to really be involved with the, ir uh, the irregular Americans is speak your mind, right? <laughs> like, like I, I had somebody tell me last night, I had somebody tell me last night, I was having a conversation with them, and she stops me in the middle of the conversation, and she goes, you know, 
This is why most people who you're around think you're an asshole and they don't tell you because you're crippled. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard all right. week. So I, I just, I'm just saying it right I'm like, I'm aware of what I am, but I'm okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look, n- number one, you're not an irregular American. You're a regular American. Well, uh, I, you know, I, I regular on days, some days. Mm. Well, that, that, that's a whole other regular. problem. That, that's a whole other problem right that's there. That's just a bunch yeah. of shit. Yeah. I know. I mean, I mean, let's be honest. That happens to everybody. That that thing that that's not that's not good at all. I mean, for crying out loud, they they wrote a book about it. You ever read that book? Everybody poops. That's, yeah. that's, no, that's I've the thing. Never actually read that. I have. No, I, I, no, I, I, I read the true. less popular I mean, version. Nobody poops but you. <laughs> so so here here's the thing. Here here's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, if if this group of regular Americans is going to happen and we're all going to speak our minds, uh, the only rule that we need to have is how to get somebody in the group to shut up so somebody else can talk. Ah. Be- because, because I told you guys before, and it's the honest truth, when I was a kid, when I was in junior high, somebody actually gave me a shirt. It's that I'm talking and I can't shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm, 40, I'm some people like that. Seriously, I'm 42 years old. I don't think I've taken a breath in the last 40 months. <laughs> so I, I don't. Uh, I don't really. Uh, God bless I, you. You're on. You're a young guy. Not really. Not really sure. How that's gonna work out? I'm I'm really impressed that you just called me a young guy, fiddler, because I I gotta be honest. I I'm I'm happy every day that that I wake up and I look in the mirror and I realize that I still look good. You know the legs don't work, the eyes don't work, the hands don't work. Nothing works, but I'm still pretty. Ah. Hey, man, that Yay. There you go. I, know what, uh, I do uh, the same. I think Creeding's very important. 20 years older than you at 62. And your eyes yeah, don't I'm... work and your hands don't work. And... <laughs> yeah. My bum's got a problem with me. My hands don't me. work and my legs don't work and my calves don't Some work. Some asshole just shit in my pants. Uh, no, no. Yeah. How'd that happen? How are you? Uh, so I, I, I got to tell you guys, uh, I got to tell you guys a story. When I was younger, younger than this, when I was about 24, 25 years old, I used to get out and go to the county club. And mm-hmm. believe it or not, this, this little town where I live had a comedy club. And on... A given night at the comedy club, there would be this woman there who I claim as a friend of mine. And you guys get ready. You guys that have Google will will have to Google her. But uh, this woman that was at the comedy club at 19 years old is uh, is a con- is a comedian by the name of Kristen Key. And Hi. and if you've ever seen. Uh, last Comic Standing, Chris and Keith was on Last Comic Standing, and I've known her, like I said, since she was 19 years old. Huh. And and the funniest, the funniest thing that I that I remember, Chris and Keith talking about was that she tells people on a regular basis. That she craps her pants way more as an adult than she ever did as a kid. <laughs> and I, I gotta be honest, as I get older, that's absolute truth. Oh, damn yeah. straight. 
Like, mm. that just happens. That just happens. And you're like, I'm, I'm like, this should not happen, but it does. And that's why there's a billion dollar market for Depends. Like, who, whoever thought of Depends was an absolute genius. And he deserves every dime that he makes. And if it's a she, uh, then she deserves every dime. You mean dime like a button? I, well, you, you know, depends is the diaper. You know, you know. Oh, I'm, that's the, the baby pin. Right. Adult, there we go. Adult. adult diaper. Depends. Yeah. Depends. Oh, depends. Yeah. It depends. That, that's what okay. I'm saying. We all <laughs> the couple that's get older. We all had this problem as we get older, so whoever invented that was a freaking genius. Yeah. Yeah, and they have pull-ups for adults now, too. Okay. <laughs> Glad to know, Lisa. <laughs> so, 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 real quick, as we wrap this up, I have no idea where this, where this last 20 minutes went. And what scares me is... Is that somebody got it on video and this is going to end up on uh -oh. YouTube at some point? Oh boy. And, <laughs> oh, and, yeah. and all I can say is this has been the first meeting of the irregular Americans. I said what I said and that's the end of it. I'm Jamie Jordan. Good night, folks. Good night. Love it, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah.